All right, just wanted to make a video about my Epiphone Zach Wild Les Paul Customs. There's a video out there that Essex Recording Studios put out about you know telling a you know a fake from a real one because uh, there are a lot of fakes out there and they do go over the Chinese model versus the Korean model. Now this guitar is kind of an oddball. It does not fit what those guys are saying because as you can see, it's got the Korean Epiphone logo and it's got kind of an off-centered looking in and a really weird looking E at the end of it. Also, they didn't do a really great job on the custom logo there on the headstock. And it has EMG HZs. I have take them, taken them out um, and they are the real deal. I did have to replace the uh, pegs there because uh, somebody had an aftermarket set on there that I didn't like. But apparently this is what they were making in China before they started making the plus model with the active EMGs and the Ebony fretboard. They did make an EMG HZ version of this guitar. A cheaper version. I'm not sure for how long. The guy at Epiphone told me it was not for long. Uh, but you know, I gave him the... Um, let's go ahead and flip it over. I did give him the serial number and sent some pictures. And they said it was not a fake. But there's the Chinese Zach logo. It's a little bit cleaner than the Korean one. Uh, Chinese serial number. Uh, they told me what plant it was made in. Apparently they didn't make these in that plant very long. The fit and finish on this guitar is not that great. Um, you can see the heel kind of sticks out just a little bit more than a, a Korean model. If you go up, it does not have the scarf joint like a Korean model's got. The binding uh, is a little different on the back. It's kind of a little bit closer together. And if you look up top here, this is not as thick as a Korean model. Let me flip it back over. So there it is. That's a real Chinese, um, first edition Chinese, Zach Wild. And if you go over here, this is my Korean model. Um, I got it used from Guitar Center. Somebody had put in a Bill Lawrence XL500 in the bridge and a Seymour Duncan Screaming Demon in the neck and it sounds phenomenal, so I've just kept it in there. Um, but they both play great. They both sound awesome. Um, the headstock on this one, uh, the Chinese model, is a little bit bigger and longer up in this area. Um, and it's got the weird Epiphone logo where the E looks almost crooked on it and the N looks almost crooked. This is what you see on those 2010 models. If you Google a 2010 Zach Wild Les Paul Custom, you're gonna see a lot of them with this logo here. So, you know, I know Essex Recording Studio, they, they put out some videos about spotting a fake and the difference between a Korean and a Chinese model, but they did have some weird ones that they made. This is one of them, that's not a fake, it's just a, you know, when they went from making the Koreans to the Chinese models, they, they tried to keep the specs the same as the Korean models and um, did that for a short amount of time. And this guitar is one of the results of that. But got two right now, got one on the way, planning on having about 20 of them in this room by the end of the year. There's my little orange combo that I love. And uh, I love these guitars. I just love the Maple Necks. I love playing a Les Paul and I love the Maple Necks. Just a killer guitar for the money. I've been grabbing these at Guitar Center for about 500 bucks a piece and plan on getting a lot more. Have a great day.